Hello. Welcome to EasyVB, Tips and Tricks 9. In Tips and Tricks 8, we added two list boxes to list the PC's installed SAP voices, and a method of previewing and setting the SAP voice by clicking selection from the enabled SAP voices list. In this video we will develop our SAP text-to-speech application further, providing a method of highlighting each word as it is spoken. Not only that, but we will provide a method that ensures the text box text will automatically scroll such that the text being spoken and highlighted is always visible, much like we see happening right now. We will also provide a method of speaking the text from any selected cursor position. Let's try that now. We will also provide a method of speaking the text from any selected cursor position. Let's try that now. Before we go on to explain in detail, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and even comment, in support of the channel. Thank you. Ok. What we are going to do, is, amend our application from tutorial 8. To highlight the text as it is spoken involves a bit of a trick. A hack to a dynamic link library, or DLL, of the Windows API. It is though, very easy to do and follow. So the first thing we are going to do is add, as a reference, the DLL, Microsoft Speech Object Library. To do this, go to the Project tab, scroll down to Reference, and click Reference. A window named, Reference Manager, will pop up. Scroll down the menu options to, com, and pick that. From the long list of references, scroll down to the one named, Microsoft Speech Object Library. Check the checkbox to select it, and click OK. Note that there may be two references both named, Microsoft Speech Object Library. Picking one of these may throw an error. If that happens, just uncheck the box and pick the other one. OK. In the next step, go all the way to the top of the code above the line, Public Class Form 1. Add a new line here. Right. Import Speech Lib. Next, in the variable declaration space, write the line, Private with Events, Voice, as SP Voice, equals, SAPI. Now we need to write a new private sub to handle the with events variable, Voice. Go to the end of the code and write. Private sub, SAPI, underbar, highlight, open brackets, stream number as integer, comma, stream position as object, comma, character position as integer, comma, length as integer, close brackets, handles, voice, dot, word, then end sub. Within this sub, write the following lines of code. TB1, dot, select, open bracket. Character position, comma, length, close bracket. TB1, dot, focus, empty brackets. Run the application and write or drop some text into the text box to test if the highlighting will work. You have selected voice number 6 Ivona 2 Emma OEM, British English female voice, 22 kilohertz. OK let's see if Emma speaking will highlight the words of this line. OK, the highlighting worked nicely. Now to get the text to scroll we just need to write one more line of code. Write. TB1. Dot, scroll to caret, empty brackets. Run the application and test again.
you have selected voice number 0 Microsoft David Desktop, English, United States. OK, to test if the text box scrolls now, with the progressing speech stream and highlighting, we will need quite a few lines of text. We know this should work fine, and today we have achieved quite a good improvement to our speech application, with only a few lines of code. So did it scroll now as well as highlight? Now it is scrolling nicely as the speech progresses, but we are not done with our coding yet. Try making a list box voice selection. You have selected voice number 8 Microsoft Zero Desktop, English, United States. Oops, that's not good. We can observe the text box highlights as the voice selection is spoken. This is because the focus for the highlighting sub is to the TB1 text box control. To fix this problem, go to the code, and in the variable declaration space add a new variable. Dim, speak from text box, as, boolean. Then, in the sapi highlight sub, enclose the code in an, if then, statement. Write. If, speak from text box, equals, true, then, and end if. Go up to the private sub, btn speak, and write the line. Speak from text box, equals, true. Also, in private subs, lb enabled, selected index changed, and lb disabled, selected index changed. Write the line. Speak from text box, equals, false. Run the application again. Write some text to the text box to test it once more. Click the speak button to check that word highlighting is still working. Select a new voice from the enabled voices list. OK, let's see if we can highlight this text when we click speak, but not highlight it when we select a voice. You have selected voice number 8 Microsoft Zero Desktop, English, United States. You have selected voice number 6 Ivona 2 MOEM, British English Female Voice, 22 kHz. Now we can see that we have resolved the problem of the text box being highlighted when we speak the voice selection. OK. Good. But, we're not done yet for this video. Now what we want to do is be able to speak the text box text from any selected cursor location. To do this, we will add another private sub to the code, and another button to the form. Go to the form view and add a new button to the form, just below button speak. Change its name to, btn cursor, change its text to, speak from cursor position, and change the text font size to 10. Create a click event for the button by double clicking on it. Within the click event, write the following lines of code. Speak from text box, equals, true. Sapi, dot, speak, open bracket, tb1, dot, text, dot, substring, open bracket, tb1, dot, selection start, tb1, dot, text, dot, length, minus, tb1, dot, selection start, close bracket, audio play mode, dot, background, close bracket. Run the application. Write some text to the text box, click the cursor to any position, and test speaking from that position by clicking the speak from cursor position button.
you have selected voice number 0 Microsoft David Desktop, English, United States. And then click the speak from cursor button, does it work ok? It works, we are speaking from the cursor position, but we can observe that the highlighting is starting from the beginning of the text box and is proceeding out of position from the text being spoken. What is going wrong here? Well the highlight position starts at the point in the string where the first word is found, which is at the zero position, and because the highlight focuses to the text box it starts highlighting from the zero position in the text box and not the zero position of the cursor selected string. What we need to do to resolve this and realign the highlight with the words being spoken is, create a string of spaces, equal to the length position of the cursor, and to add that to the front of the selected string. That way. The highlighting will scroll in position along the spaces in the string until it finds the first word to highlight, then highlight that location in the text box. Ok, this will be better understood after we write the code for this. Just a few more easy lines. First, go to the variable declaration space and create a new variable. Write. Dim, start string, as string, equals, empty quotes. Next go to the btn cursor click event and write. Start string, equals, new string, open brackets, quotes with a space, comma, tb1, dot, selection start, close brackets. And, in the sapi, dot, speak, expression, add, start string, and, just in front of tb1, dot, text. Run the application and test if we have resolved the highlighting position problem. You have selected voice number 6 Ivona 2 Emma OEM, British English female voice, 22 kHz. Wow, it's working. You could be searching for this code solution for days and never find it, so what does that mean? Well I hope it means you will like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. In the next video we will explain briefly a method to stop and clear the SAP speech stream. At the moment we only have pause and resume, but we really need a stop button too. Thanks for watching. We hope this tip and trick was useful. If it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe.